What is going on everybody? Welcome back to e not EU4, Civ 6 is Rome. We're having a good good go at it, I think. We're doing pretty well considering our spawn is actually I don't know if our spawn was good or bad. <laughs> not really not really sure. I think it's pretty bad though. Not sure. We were just miles away from everyone in the tundra, randomly shipped off to the side of the map. But we've recovered, I think. We've conquered a bit of land. We've I would say stop America expanding. I mean I don't know what date it looks like, they're pretty big in here, so maybe <laughs> Maybe they weren't too bothered coming down this way. But yeah, I think we've done all around pretty good. This city is going to have some insane production, <laughs> that's for certain. Just my, oh, I missed out on the iron. Luckily, these builders just got insane amount of uses, thanks to all the sort of things that stacked up. I think they got, I think they got it from a policy, government policy, and then they also got an extra because of the governor that was in place at the time. Not the same one anymore. So it would look a bit different. Our religion's doing okay. <laughs> Three cities. It's pretty strong down here. And it's it's weak here. It might disappear before I buy another unit. I can get a missionary. But I guess we'll just wait for an apostle. I think they're a little bit better. Oh, I forgot again. Okay, I'm not going to forget. Right, let's go over there. Make sure I don't forget. Build armory. Build harbours. We're we'll probably not be able to do any of those. Enlightenment civic. I don't see that either. So let's just go for what we want. Forts and Renaissance walls. That's not that important. Musket men. Caravel would be nice to explore the map for us. Because at the moment we're sort of limited by open borders. Certain people aren't keen. Well, I don't think I checked. I just it wasn't too bothered with some of them. I think our boats are heading home. At the moment. Oh, we got some new. We should actually check if we want to use any of those new policies. Diplomatic. Your trade routes to an ally provide food and production. I mean, at this point, I'll keep the gold for now. We actually have a thousand gold. That was quick. We spent so long not getting any, and then now we just have a thousand. Fair enough. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but <laughs> caught me by surprise. Um, okay, we can upgrade this archer. I'm not sure if I want to keep it here. There's not many tiles left for barbarians to spawn in. Whoa. So America captured a city off the commerce. They're definitely no one's got any diplomatic points. We've got the we've got like as many as the rest of them combined almost. They have a bit more. So Korea took a Brazilian city. The one that borders me actually. I'm gonna put an emergency on that just because I want the city. So, you know, just <laughs> if I can take it. I mean I might have to give it back to Brazil, but I don't know. Either way, it will work. People were not keen on me. Making an alliance with America. I guess America is invading everyone, so that does make some sense. <laughs> I, I, I'll let them off. That was a smart move. All right, there's a wonder I'm supposed to build for you guys. Uh, it's not in this list yet, so I think it's a later one. But yeah, it's not there yet. I mean, are any of the other ones good? No, they take too long. We need to keep building up our military. Purchase with faith, get an apostle. So I need to get another holy site. Maybe I can get one in Ravenna. Now, no, we need ten population. Oh, that sucks. Do these take up district slots? I don't know. But we got to get rid of five food either way, so it's not going to speed it up. Uh, I will buy a trader. How did I lose? Oh, I upgraded that archer. Okay, I was very, very nervous then. Okay, I'm going to try and get one more settler and put it up here. Hopefully, America doesn't respond too badly to that one. Um, okay, do we need one more trader? Yeah, just one. Okay, that's fine. Commercial hub. Plus two gold. That's a good idea. No. Put it there. There we go. Send envoy up to ten. I mean, I get extra money from it, so I guess there's some value to it. It's not a complete waste. I can't believe, maybe there is just one city state. Maybe I accidentally messed with the slider. Or maybe they're all just on a separate continent. Surely there's some in the fog of war. This is not the one I proposed. Damn it. Did, did I mess up? I don't want to fight England. <laughs> or France even. I keep getting them confused. I think I messed up. I think I <laughs> proposed the wrong one. Oh, I didn't get to stand on this one. How come the two that I didn't want came through, not the one I wanted? How's that happened? 
Okay, well, Korea took that city. It was actually this one I wanted, so never mind. It's not the end of the world as I thought it was. <laughs> Production. We have got so many, but we have built so many mines in such a short space of time. I mean, lots of extra production. All right, Ravenna. She no, we may as well go from Rome. I want to try and get a route that goes from Rome <laughs> all the way through, because that will obviously bring in an awful lot of bonus money from our ability. Quite nice. Furs. Uh, give gift. No, I don't want to give him a gift. Okay. Another mine. <laughs> Oh, we got a great person. I'm not sure what. Please be an artist. That was what I needed. Liverpool, 28 gold. There we go. We'll take that. It is. Oh, an engineer. Well, I'm not going to complain. That is pretty good. What do you do? Instantly build ancient and medieval walls. I swear, great people suck in this game. Does he not do anything else? He's got three actions. What are his other actions? Or can he do it three times? Oh, we can do it three times. Okay, well, okay, that makes sense. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I would have to put him in Rome because it's the capital, and then I'll probably go put it in the further away cities if I can. Sort of, probably these two would make the most sense, I guess. And here we go, a new legion unit. Another one is that keeping us up up here? Two, one, three, one, three, three. Okay, so it's still between us and America. We're leading for soldiers and money, so that's fine. How many builds do these guys have? This is crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was not expecting to have that many. This is really pushing the uh, limits of what I was expecting. Choose production in Rome. Just get more, more units. Uh, Legion. Caravels are available in one turn. I mean, it Tutor. No, I don't want another galley. Uh, settler, builder. No. Okay, I said I wanted an intelligence agency, so let's quickly grab one of those while we're not in a rush. Did I buy that extra trader? Yes. We still have a thousand gold, so that's fine. Begin voting. Religious combat strength, the units of Protestantism, of course. I think that's mine. Don't <laughs> embarrass if I get it wrong. Outcome, 100%. Oh, that is, I've never noticed that. It's got all the flags of the actual nations in the game behind. We're just here. Cut off. That sucks. I never noticed that. That is cool. 100% um, production towards buildings in this district. Uh, well, city center always wins <laughs> from experience, which means, which is where I, for the first time, it's where I want it, which means it probably won't win this time. But there we go. It's the only one I'm building a building in right now, I think. Yep, city center won. We actually won this vote as well. We did have a lot of points, so that's probably why. And everyone else probably poured in their votes for the city center for no apparent reason. So um, did that have a big impact? Not really. I assume it will increase. Maybe that's not the city center. Maybe I was wrong. I thought it was. Maybe it isn't. Hopefully it is. All right, you keep coming this way. Same for you. Or maybe it will just, yeah, maybe the city center means like monument. I thought it meant within our plaza, but maybe that's something else. Maybe I was wrong. Doesn't matter. If it's not very good for us, it's not very good for anyone. I think two of those new industrial zones just finished at the same time. Oh no, these two are still a while. But one, I literally just finished here. One, it was on one. So there we go. We can now add a little workshop. Increased production. This city is going to have ridiculous production with all these mines. Actually, not really, but a lot of mines. I'm sure it'll be quite good. Whoa. Okay, settler. Come up that way. No. Oh, no. I thought that was the settler. Sorry. Moving the apostle back this way. Okay. Ravenna can probably go without walls if they are sieging that city out. We've already pretty much lost the game, so <laughs> that's my logic on that one. Ancient Wars one turn. I mean, there we go. I'll, I'll get some just in case the the worst happens. All right, the galleys we have. Where'd the other one go? I swear there's. Is there one just waiting around somewhere, or are these just the one? Where's the other one? Two. Are they still. Oh, he, this one was just like you know what. Halfway through its voyage, it was like I can't explore the deep sea now. Change my mind. 
I swear there was an original. There was one up north that I saw sort of kept down here. Maybe did it just? No, it must have died. Okay, whatever. That is fine. All right, apostle, back down this way, please. Settler up here is recommending on the coast. I mean, obviously it won't flood once it's actually on the coast, right? You just go and explore wherever you want to. Keep moving up that road that feels really slow. Nice. Right, so 51k, the average 29. The numbers are not as big as Civ 6. I, I like that, because in Civ 6 they're a bit ridiculous. <laughs> There's Sometimes they have armies like bigger than, not bigger than their population, but they're like 50% of it or something. Pretty crazy. We do not have that same situation here, thankfully. How has this guy still got builds? He's got one left. I don't know how. Right, so we don't want to go too close that way. Could go there. Buddha is recommending here, but that's really close to this city. So I might just go one tile up, put it here. There we go. One more new settlement for us. I'm just going to sort of abuse the fact that I'm allied to them and hope they don't attack me for that reason. Oh, they didn't get a road. Well, they sort of did. Get the granary. Always a good place to start. Do we just keep adding? Or should we get any problem? Let's see what the promotions are. City cannot be put under siege. That sounds so OP. Strategic resources gain one per turn. I don't know where he is right now. He is in this city. Is there any strategic resources here? No. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I assume I'll just get to use the point next turn. I accidentally just moved on. How can your people... I don't even know what they said. I didn't read it. Something bad. Gunpowder. Wow. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to win a religious victory for some reason. <laughs> but we can try. I'm tempted to send this guy up to America because at least we have a chance. Or maybe we should have been converting these. And, yeah, let's not go to the furthest away city. Seems like a bad idea now. Right, to you. Oh, probably want to build the walls over there now. I know, I've made a real mess of this. Research. Okay, let's get... F all bombards are on there, but that's fine. We don't actually have any. We don't have the resource you need to build the bombard yet. Market. Here we go. Things looking good. Grab another. Mi okay, we can grab a couple missionaries. There we go. That's at least. Yeah, I just want to try and let's convert these cities. These three are not following any religion. So if we can get all them Protestant, then that at least gives us a chance. Some natural spread. Push back, however it's going to work out. Yeah, spread it here. What promotions have you got? Spread, resist, eliminates 25% pressure. Yes, I'll take that. Just building a few more units to head up, head up north to go and give us a bit of protection because I assume America's not going to be keen on bordering us forever. I like how this new city has already got matching city defense to some of these other ones. Just like that. And you come down there to use your final spread. Mm, this city just got an industrial zone, so I guess we get a workshop because it's still so bad for production. <laughs> Two new missionaries on their way. Nice. Oh, we're finally going to hit 10 population. I think it's too late to get the boost that we were looking for, but... um. There we go, it's just, oh, hello, we are discovering some new stuff out there. Took a while. Campus, holy site, I did want a holy site. And there is a nice empty tile right there, so that's perfect. Spread religion. Boom, first time conversion as well. Oh, we can upgrade our legions to musket men, I think. Yes, but I don't have need to, at least the bonuses will carry over. Right. Missionaries on their way. Just keep maybe we could find a new continent and colonize it maybe that's our way to victory but that will be it for this episode so as always if you have enjoyed be sure to leave a like and a comment down below it's getting very interesting we're gonna have to pick how we're gonna go about winning this game so we'll see at the moment we're not first we're sort of second and obviously america is pretty much free to do what they want in the north so we need to consider a plan whether that's obviously the only real clear option 
apart from going straight after America, is Brazil. So there's too many mountains between us and Korea. I mean, we could really ruin America's game if we just threw everything at Washington, maybe. Maybe once the alliance expires, that's the way we'll go. But we'll see. But that's going to be it for this one. So I'll see you in the next one.